What's going on you guys, it's your man James aka JP, back again with another Toy Room Review. Today we're taking a look at the Jack Pacific World of Nintendo Spencer's exclusive Shadow Link from The Legend of Zelda. Uh, so we'll take a look, I really really love this packaging here, this packaging is very nice. You got the nice black, red, and white theme going through it, so you got this nice black and white image of Link with some red on a black uh, background here. And you got the open window right there, and you can see the exclusive sticker, Jack Specific, The Legend of Zelda. And then you see the open window that fully displays the figure and his accessories, Shadow Link right there. Now going to the back, you get not a read-up, but you do get some product shots and all the different poses and everything you can get them in. And then you see all the other figures from the wave down here, which I have picked up all of them. I passed on Red Yoshi, but I did pick up the rest. I also passed on the White Tanuki Mario. But stay tuned for the rest of these guys. Anyways, let's go ahead and get them out of the packaging, and then we'll take a closer detailed look at them. Alright, and here's the figure out of the packaging. First, we'll take a look at the accessories that he comes with. So first, you got his uh, shield right here done in this nice black and silver. Very nice metallic silver on here. The paint detail on here is nice. The sculpting is pretty nice as well. On the back, it's just solid black, and you do have the clips to hook onto his arm right there. So you got that. And you also have his sword and his sheath, so you can remove that. The sheath is done in basically a dark uh, black and gray. Pretty nice detail on there. Then on the back, you got the peg to stick into his back. Pretty nice. And then the sword is done in that nice metallic silver again. You get the nice triforce on there. A little bit of scuffing right here from the sheath, but not too bad. Then you just got the black handle right there. So that's pretty nice. Now getting into this figure, it's basically just a black figure. It's very hard to tell. Um, you know, my lights are pretty bright, but it's still kind of hard to see all the detail in here. But basically you got red hits on the eyes. And it's a repaint of the regular Ocarina of Time um, World of Nintendo Link, which unfortunately I don't have at the moment, so I can't compare. Um, but it's just a repaint done in all black right there. So very, very nice. It's a pretty cool looking figure, but the black does hide a lot of the details. But you got the strap right here. And coming down, got the buckle. Got the straps on the arm. Got a skirt piece. And you also have his boots right there. Now, he's got really great articulation, so we'll take a look at that. The head can move left and right, a little bit of up and down, but not really. The arms don't go in further than that. They pretty much stick there. Uh, they do go out that far. You can do a full 360 with them. He does have a single bend at the elbow, which bends him pretty far. And he also has a wrist swivel, or like a cut right here uh, above the... Uh, the glove right there and then his wrists hinge up and down they also turn side to side he has a waist rotation no crunch uh this skirt is a softer piece so um you can move the leg forward just a little bit and it doesn't really move back at all the knees have a single bend which pretty much at that point feels like you're gonna snap the leg so don't bend it in further than that you have upper boot rotation and the ankles have space to move, um, but they are hindered by the boot, so it's not really going anywhere. And they don't really turn left and right so much either, so. But still pretty good articulation for this little figure. Um, alright you guys, so I was trying to remove the hand so that I could slide it through the little loop on the shield here. And all I did was, you know, pull on the hand the way you remove any hand, and it seems like the joint broke, because this piece... It's supposed to stay locked in here, and that's the peg piece right there that goes into the hand. Um, so I'm pretty sure it broke on me, so that's really unfortunate. Especially for this figure being uh, so much more expensive than the normal ones, just because it's, a, it's an exclusive. And um, yeah, it broke on me while I was trying to do that. So I guess watch out for that. This is a pretty sensitive figure. I mean, I didn't put any force onto it at all. Uh, so there's that. Alright, so here's the figure posed around with the weapons. Uh, I'm pretty disappointed in this figure right now. Messing around with them and posing them around, his knees became uh, very loose on me already. Um, his hand popped off. Uh, it, it's I don't know. I, I'm I love the way this figure looks, but then messing around with them more, I'm just really really disappointed. Uh, with how this figure came out. It feels very cheap to me. And uh, for a comparison, here is the Link figure from uh, Twilight Princess or Skyward Sword. I don't remember. It might be Skyward Sword. 
Uh, but here, here's that figure. I don't have the uh, standard version of this yet. I'm still on the hunt for it. But there's a little comparison so you can see the differences. The uh, Shadow Link is obviously a lot taller. I'm not sure how the scales work, uh, you know, if they're in scale with each other or not. But uh, there, there's a comparison between the All two. Alright, you guys, so there's my review. Overall, I have very mixed feelings about this figure. It looks really cool. The packaging was awesome. But it, it just feels very cheaply made, and for it being a Spencer's exclusive, this figure was $20, which is insane, because none of the World of Nintendo figures are that expensive. Even the big 6-inch six, six figures are, like, $15 at best. Uh, so these figures normally go for around, like, maybe $10, $11, I believe, something like that. So you're paying extra just for it being an exclusive. Um, and it already broke on me, so I'm very disappointed in that. But it does look cool. I can't wait to get the regular version of uh, this link and put them on the shelf together fighting or something like that. So, uh, so that's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Also, share this video with your friends. Stay tuned for more, and as always, I'll see you guys next time.